Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. So it's my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. We're going to continue on to week number four. We're just taking a quick rest on the bench. In this particular one, we're going to go around our entire afghan, and there's gonna be a lot of counting involved in order to make this thing happen. So you're gonna to have to really count on this particular starting as we go so that it will still continue to stay flat at the end of your journey. So without further ado, let's go ride the carousel. Let's do our counting up and down, up and down as we continue our journey. And I'll see you at the end of this video in just a moment, but I'll see you at the studio in just a second. Welcome back from the park and it's now week number four as we continue our study of geometry. So when I was looking at this particular design, I didn't want to overcomplicate the design on the border and make the border so outrageous that it takes away from the look of the interior. However, this round that we're about to start, round number one of the border, is the most critical round of everything on this particular blanket. So as a child, my parents owned a theme park and it was always about the balancing of the ride. So we had just like a little Mickey Mouse little park. And so the rockets, for example, we would have to put one child on one side, one child on another and balance it. So when the ride was swinging, it would always stay in balance for the most part and including the Ferris wheels and etc. So what we have here is that it's all about the balance. So I compared this to being the carousel where we wanna balance the ride. So we need to make sure that each side of these triangles that we're about to do have the balance and we need to be vigilant on the actual counting itself. So we do have a method to the madness and I have a diagram to show you which is the final page of this week. So your diagram will appear here. There's actually a slight alteration to this and there's something on the underside that I folded that I, I didn't want you to see because I don't want to reveal all my secrets. So what we have is that we want to take a look at this diagram and when I did this particular design, I designed it on the computer first before actually crocheting it so that I could keep the balance and have the stitch work to be matching. So I'm gonna blow this up for you. Boop, it's blown up and I want to dive heavily into this diagram to show you the method to the madness about keeping balance. So in crochet about balance and getting making sure that these stretch out properly when there is a double crochet technically there's usually uh, two single crochets around the post. When there's a treble there's three single crochets around the post and what I wanted to do is that I wanted to circle the one. Remember that double treble we did? Well that one has four single crochets around the post and so what I did is that I marked it and you may want to do that for yourself. So I'll, if you want to do that just uh, stop me right now and you can mark your diagram the way that you would like to do. So I put a note here two single crochets three and four. When I was doing this one here, this one here is the one that throws me off the most because I'm waiting to see the double treble and you'll be able to identify that if you're familiar with crochet as well. But I did uh, highlight it here. So you got two around the first post. So every connection point, so see how this one is connected to there? That one's gonna go right into the connection spot. So the ones that I circled here, it, well with the boxed, those are the ones that are around the post and the other ones are going right into the base of the stitches itself. My biggest suggestion of this whole thing and what I did is that I crocheted and I went all the way to the center point. And before I went on to do the other side of it, I made sure that there was 50 stitches here and then I did the center point and then I counted and then I continued. So what I'm recommending to you is don't go all the way across because the instructions for uh, simplicity says uh, you know uh, work 101 stitches but if you do 50 on this side of the center line and 50 on the other and then add the one in the middle you have your 101. So we're going to continue this journey and we're going to go into round number one and round number one is suggesting what colors are we looking at today. So we're looking at it here it says with H whatever your H is that's what we're going to begin and we're going to begin right on the corner and then we'll work our way up. So technically behind the scenes here I have two triangles only crocheted. The rest of it is not because this table is not that big. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to start you so that I can actually uh, teach you but technically there should be another triangle here and I'm gonna teach you uh, starting on this side and just pretend that there's another triangle here that is attaching and I will still show you the same way. So it gives me an opportunity to show you what it looks like going across and then what it looks like when it jumps to the next one and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to begin our journey. Pick any side that you would like to do right where the two triangles are joined, right where they're joined, right there and that's where we're going to begin. So let's begin. So I'm going to begin and so remember that there should be another triangle that's attached to the same spot. So right where they're attached is our beginning point and that's where we're gonna start our journey. 
and it's attached right here. And we're going to begin. So I'm gonna take you through one complete side, show you the one turn and that's what I'm gonna do for this round. So we're gonna attach with a slip stitch with your color H or whatever color you decided and you're going to chain three which will count as a double crochet. I want you to double crochet into that same one again and then I want you to treble crochet so it can reach further. So when it leans over it can actually um, reach over further. Okay so when we come back around we're gonna finish that one here by putting in um, uh, one treble two double crochets and then we're gonna do a chain one and join it. So right for where we, where we are, see the base of this one right there? That's where we're going to begin our journey of working our way down. So right where it's connected is you're going to be your first single crochet and I'm looking at the diagram as I go. So the next one here is a double crochet. So there's only gonna be two single crochets around that post and then you go into the connection spot which is here. Do you see that? So the next several are all trebles. So when there's a treble there's gonna be three single crochets around the post. So one, two, three. And here's the tip. It's not gonna be until you get to this long one that you're gonna have to worry about changing that concept. So it'll be three around each post until you get there. So go into the connection spot and then around the next post and in this post there's gonna be three single crochets again. And then go into the connection spot and then three around this post. This is a treble post and then a connection spot and then three around this post and then a connection spot. So if you can identify your stitches it makes it a lot easier. So three around this one and then the connection spot. So you can tell that this one is really long. So that's a double treble. So there's gonna be four single crochets around that one. So one, two, three, and four. And then go into the connection spot the next one is a double crochet so there's only gonna be two into that one. So one and two and then the connection spot. Yep that is it. And then we're gonna continue then. The next one is a treble. So there's three around that one. So one, two, three and then the connection spot. And the next one is a treble again. So three, so one, two and three and then the connection spot and then around the next treble. So we have one, two, three and then the connection spot and the center point is right here so you got three in this last treble. So one, two and three and then put one into the center spot. So I'm not gonna do this with you but what I would strongly recommend is that cone count and make sure that you have 51 stitches that includes the center point. So there should be 50 not including that center point from there all the way to the other side. So I wanna verify that before I move on. So just count it and I'll be right back. So I'm confirmed that I have 51 stitches that includes the center point so there's 50 uh, without that center point. If for example you have a miscount somewhere, squeeze in an extra stitch if you're missing and if you have an extra stitch just go back to the last section here and just remove out a stitch and just make sure that it's 50 stitches all together so equally spaced. So let's start on this side of the line. So when you're looking at the diagram let's go back to that for a second and let's talk about that. So now that I'm at the center point I can read this diagram going in this direction to get myself back to the, the next corner. So it'll be these trebles that you're gonna be going around you'll have this. You're gonna watch for that big one again. So you'll have double crochet there and there and trebles through the remaining. So read this going back in the opposite direction if that helps you. So I'm gonna give you a piece of advice here. This one here was a double treble and we put four in there and the one after it was a double crochet. Um, so then there was two single crochets around that one. If you use your eyes and follow this across you will know that you will get four singles around this double treble and the one before it is a double 
uh, crochet so therefore there's only two there. So use the connection idea of just kind of following it with your eyes in order for it to make sense. So let's begin going across and so I'm only gonna worry about putting the double, the two around the double crochets just the one before this. So everything else is pretty much a trouble in between that you're gonna be going around. So just put uh, three single crochets around the next treble starting from there and then do the connection and then do the ne next three single crochets around this treble and then the connection three singles and out around the next treble here and the connection okay and then three trebles around there and then the next connection. So this is the one before the double treble here. This here is a double crochet. So there's only gonna be two around that post. So one and two and then do the connection and then this is the double treble here. So there's gonna be four around that one. So one, two, three and four. And continuing along the next time that you're gonna have something special will be very close to the end of this. So just watch these stitches here. See these full popcorns? Those that, that means that there's a double um, crochet at the end of that, of the end of the rainbow really. So connection spot and let's do three single crochets around the next treble. So one, two, three and then connection and now the next one. So one, two, three connection and continuing along so three one two and three connection and then three so one two three and then the connection And then one, two, three and then a connection. And this one here is a double crochet so they're gonna have two in there. So we have one and two and then go in the connection and now we're ready to do the corner. So to do the corner you're gonna reach right where they're joining and you're gonna reach on over and do a treble. So one treble and then two double crochet. My, my counts were different originally during the prototype and I realized I had to eliminate a stitch out because it was buckling so that's why there's only three stitches there. Chain one and then to officially turn you're going to do two uh, double crochets. So one and two and then a treble. And then you can restart going down the next side which is you can reverse this video back to do that. So your first connection is a connection right here. So you'll connect there and then work your way down. So please do this all the way around and it'll look pretty good and you will see that the lines will get more and more defined the more rounds that you do and this will close in that corner spot just like it is. So reverse the video back if you need more help with this uh, particular concept and then we're gonna be moving on shortly to round number two. So at this point I've come all the way around. Pretend that there's another triangle here. So this would have been attached to the triangle that would have been sitting there. So you're going to put in one treble and then two double crochets, chain one and then just join it to the top of the first chain three. And you're going to get rid of this color and move on to the color C as in cat and we're going to begin. So mate, I hopefully you were counting as you were going all the way around because now the rest of the counts is really quite easy to be able to maintain. So let's uh, get rid of this color. You already know how to do that. I've showed you how to uh, get rid of colors before in the other um, series of this. So we're going to move on to round number two starting with the color C. Let's begin round number two with the color C. In my case it's a dark blue and we're going to join to any of the chain one space corners. So I decided to give you a nice easy one off so like an easy round. So we're going to just attach it, chain one and then single crochet into the same one. And then each one of the stitches that you're going to run into is, has a single crochet and that's it. So you don't need to technically count. If you counted in the last round you don't need to count in this one for sure and just simply single crochet in each of the stitches and then in the corners when you hit them it's one single crochet, chain one, one single crochet and then continue around. So this is a nice simple round 
for round number two. And please do this now and I'll be right back in a moment at the end of this round. So I'll be pretending to come around and meeting here in just a moment. You would have come all the way around and you're going to now join it to the end. So I'm just flubbing it I would say is my slang. So I'm coming right to the end and on the very last space where you started you're going to single crochet, chain one and then join it to the beginning single crochet when you go to do that. Now here's the tip that I have for you is that we have to turn around and we're gonna get rid of this color and we need to turn this blanket upside down now to the wrong side to begin the next round. So you're going to start in a chain one space of a corner but the blanket must be upside down so that you can get that faux popcorn to pop out the front side which is what we had going on when it was jumping out here. So please get ready and we're going to begin round number three in a moment. With the blanket upside down you're going to attach to a chain one space of a corner. Remember this will have been completed. So I'm gonna go right into the space that I have and you're going to attach chain one and single crochet and you'll finish that corner when you come back around which will be a single crochet chain one. Now the very next stitch that you're going to do will be a treble and you're gonna alternate between doing a treble and a single. So the next one has to be a single and then it has to be a treble and you're gonna do this all the way to the other side. And so the other side when you get there if your stitch counts are right the very last stitch will be before the corner will be a treble and then your corners will be single crochet chain one, single crochet and then start from the next one doing a single crochet. If it's not honestly just at this point you've done so much work just kind of fake it or make it at the point if it's not working for you. I always like to give people road maps to get off the road if something is going wrong instead of having to frog and meaning to rip it all out. So just keep alternating between your single crochets and your trebles and then in the corners make sure that you um, do your single crochet, chain one, single crochet and then start a new side starting with the treble and these will be popping out the other side which is the front side of the work because you're looking at the back side right now. So I'll be right back at the end of this round. This is round number three. To recap you would have come all the way around. The very last one is a single crochet in the first chain one space, chain one and then join it to the first single crochet that you started with. Now you're gonna fasten off this color and we're going to go for the final round of week number four which is round number four and we're gonna turn around the blanket back to the good side of the work so we can see it. All the fun stuff on the front side. The faux popcorn you just did will be on the front side and you're going to begin on any chain one space in a corner and let's begin round number four and it's suggesting to use the color D as in dog. Let's begin. So we're gonna begin the final round using the color D as in dog. I'm not using that same color uh, for this but that's what I'm gonna start with. So join to any chain one space of a corner and just attach chain one and single crochet. So each one of the chain one space corners is gonna get one single crochet, chain one, one single crochet. So when you come back around you'll single crochet back into the same one, chain one and then join and then fasten off. So this round is really quite simple. It's just one single crochet in each of the stitches all the way and as I said the corners are one single crochet, chain one, one single crochet and this will make that popcorn stitch really bounce out. So please do this for round number four and meet me back here and we'll conclude week number four together today. So you would have came all the way around and in the very last one you'll do your single crochet and then you'll chain one and then you'll join it to the beginning. And this is where we're gonna leave you today. We're gonna hustle our way back to the park now and when I see you next week we're going to finish the final two rounds of this blanket. So do you think you got it? Okay, so next time on week number five we're going to finish our idea. Now the border here just on the coast of this little reservoir is one of my favorite areas. It's where the most magical sunset happens and is a great way to finish the day. And in fact it's going to be our border so that's where we'll finish. So I'll see you next time week number five summer stitch along. Use hashtags yarnspirations and hashtag the crochet crowd. We'll see you soon and see you on week number five.